We end today's show in Israel, where we're joined by Maoz Inon, who lost both his parents, Bilha and Yaakovi Inon, in the surprise attack by Hamas October 7th that killed over 1,300 people in Israel. Maoz is an Israeli peace activist with the movement Standing Together, who's calling for the war to end. His parents lived in a kibbutz, a farming collective just north of the Gaza border. They were 78 and 76 years old. Maoz, our deepest condolences on the loss of your parents. Thank can you, Amy. Thank you. Can you talk about your parents and what you are calling for now? Because so often we're hearing the Israeli government use the killing this mass killing of Israelis, over 1,300 killed, and it's not clear, but between 200 and 250 now held hostage um, in Gaza, as the rationale for a ground invasion and the bombing now of Gaza. I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed with what happened to me and to my family and to my community and uh, classmates, friends. Uh, in our community, uh, Israeli communities uh, around Gaza. Nothing prepared me for uh, this moment that uh, I will be here speaking with you about uh, my strategy. I wish I was speaking uh, with you about the initiatives, I, I, uh, uh, the peace and the shared society initiatives I've been uh, taking part in in the last 20 years. Um, and I, I honestly, I'm overwhelmed with everything that's going on. Um, my parents were a, a loving people, an, an amazing couple, a, really adored and admired by their colleagues, their friends, their community, and of course by us, uh, my uh, five brothers and sisters and uh, their uh, 11 uh, grandchildren. Uh, they didn't want to harm anyone. They didn't want to fight with anyone. They, we, are, we have close and very tight relationship. We call it even a, a family relationship with the Bedouin in the Negev. I have many friends, colleagues, partner in Palestine, in Jordan, in Egypt. And what's happening now is just devastating. It's just devastating. And uh, listening to you and your guests, I, I, I was crying again. I was crying again because of the term everyone are using. It's the other side team. It's kind of a blame game. Who started it? Who shoot the missile? How many victims uh, there is for, for, from each side? And, uh, and, it, and it's just it's shocking. And uh, we keep using the same, everyone, including you and your guests, the same terms. We are using for the last century, the century of the this cycle of blood between Israelis and Palestinians. And my cry, my cry is to stop the cycle, to stop the cycle of blood, to stop the cycle of war. And uh, and I'm crying. I was interviewed uh, the other a few days ago the, to the BBC, and I I say there that I'm crying not for my parents. I'm crying for those who are going to lose their life in this war. And then my cries didn't help to, for too many people, hundreds of people. And I'm crying now again with you. And I'm crying to everyone that's watching and listening. We need you to cry with us. Don't blame anyone. Me and my family, we seek no revenge. And we seek no revenge. We just seek peace. We seek for hope. We must you change the terminology we are using to positive terminology for reconciliation, for recognition, for partnership, and for peace. I, I'm crying and I'm 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 begging you. Uh, cry, just wear the awareness, not to blame anyone, just to stop the war and and to build a. a a different future to to break the cycle of blood, to to break this uh, game of blood, and and to build a new future with hope. And hope, I I uh, I'm I'm not a scholar, 
I'm not a spokesman, I'm not a politician, I'm a normal people. I'm working very hard for my living. I'm raising my three beautiful children. I'm, I'm married to a beautiful, beautiful and amazing woman. And I never thought something like this might happen to someone like me. You hear it maybe in Ukraine, you hear it in Africa, you hear it in, in elsewhere like faraway places and this cas- catastrophe reached reached me Maos, and it's, it's just yeah there is sorry, a mass I'm very very emotional I'm sorry and again my condolences to you to your family um today there's a mass protest plan for washington dc led by groups like Jewish Voice for Peace. Uh, two dozen rabbis will be part of a civil disobedience, apparently. Um, they are calling for an end to the occupation. Do you feel the same way? I think occupation, there, of course, but the, we are in such a risk. And I think now calling for to do these things or the other, we are going back to the terminology, we are using the same t- uh, terminology that it brought us to this situation. Let's call for peace. Let's call for hope. Let's call uh, for a complete cease of fire. Let's call for building bridges. Of course, I'm against op- occupation. It's but it's irrelevant at the moment. The, 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 they are, they might, or I'm afraid, there will be many, many more victims. And what we all should be focusing now is to stop the war. Very simple message. And we, we, we must cry it. We must cry our message to everyone that has a heart uh, uh, that can listen. Let me ask you, Maos, uh, there are people, uh, Israeli families in front of uh, the Israeli military headquarters in Tel Aviv, whose families have been taken hostage, either mother, father, daughter, son, um, and they are there saying the same thing. We often see them in the media describing the horror of what happened to their loved ones, but then the media doesn't go on to say what they're calling for. Um, what do you demand right now of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu when you talk about ending I'm, the war? Again, I'm I, I'm, uh, I'm calling and I'm uh, and I'm crying, not to Benjamin Netanyahu, not to uh, the leader of the Hamas, not to uh, President Biden. I'm crying for humanity, for the entire humanity, for the entire mankind. I'm crying to stop the war. I'm crying for immediate cease of fire, and I'm crying for hope, hope that will take us from this cycle of blood to a new, a new and bright future. We must build hope. We must build a future, and this future must be based on equality, on partnership, on peace. And this is what I'm, 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 I'm crying for. And it's not to blame this or the other, this person or the other. They are irrelevant anymore. We must, uh, we must build a new, a new system.